This match is brought to you by JD Spa Services, Lolly Holmes, Allison Sports Awards. We are back for the second half of Crossfire Wrestling's Meltdown Unresolved. I'm Chuck LaFleur, and it is my great pleasure and privilege and honor and every other accolade you can think of to welcome Crossfire Wrestling Hall of Famer and a legend in the business, the one and only Chuck the Butcher Simpson, the color commentary. How are you, sir? Thank you very much, Chuck. It's great to be here. I'm so happy to be back at Crossfire. What a great, what a great show we got here today in St. Catharines. Just awesome. And it's great to be with you, Chuck. Oh, man, we haven't, uh, we haven't done this in far too long, Chuck. And uh, we are looking forward to the first match that you're going to get to call here. And uh, what a contest this should be. As we get the introduction for the uh, very, very evil uh, uh, Alexander the Great accompanying Ben Amin to the ring. And what are you going to tell us about Ben Amin, Chuck? Ben Amin is a ruthless character. He's back at Crossfire. It's, it's just unbelievable the things he's done here at Crossfire. He is the epitome of the heel. What an, the man has no morals whatsoever. You know, He'll do anything. It doesn't seem like he has any morals. I'm glad you touched on that because he does, uh, he, he puts stuff on social media all the time. He's just not a very nice man. Well, Alexander the Great uh, seems to be aligned with him now. He must have brought him back to Crossfire and uh, Alexander the Great. I've known him for many, many, many years. Has he always been like this? He can't be trusted ever. Neither one of them. So they're a good, they're a good couple together because you can't trust either one of them as far as you can throw them. I don't think Alexander the Great's wardrobe consultant can be trusted at all either. Uh, the way he uh, he dresses up. But uh, one of the reasons we are looking forward, we've been looking forward for so long to this Crossfire show, first one of the new year, is this match that we are about to see. Have we have we seen a change in uh, the opponent for Ben? I mean, at the, at the, the Jingle Bell Brawl show, there was an incident at the end of that match where yes. Minamine and his former friend and partner now, Congo Kong, yes. uh, well, they weren't seeing eye to eye by the end of the night. They were tag team partners on the last Crossfire event. We don't know about Congo Kong, though. I wouldn't trust him either. Well, the crowd seems to be in the early going here on board with Congo Kong, but like you say, he's got a pretty uh, shady history in Crossfire yeah. Wrestling. Yes, definitely. And look who's accompanying to the ring, his manager now. Unpredictable manager. Unpredictable, RJH now the yes. manager of Congo Kong. Well, it's, I don't know if he's a manager or not, but he's coming out to ringside accompanying him. I, I'm not sure about the, uh, the alignment there, I'm not, if I was uh, Rob Unpredictable, I would, I don't know if I'd be uh, too eager to be back in Congo Kong. Chuck, we're seeing something, I, I, you've been with Crossfire Wrestling since day one, have you ever seen this before? Congo Kong comes out and is actually high-fiving and shaking hands and uh, fist bumping with the fans yes. at ringside, have you ever seen that before? The, the fans seem to be behind them, uh, Chuck, it's quite amazing. Well, he has spent years at Crossfire Wrestling doing just some uh, absolutely ruthless and deplorable things in the ring against some great opponents. This Listen will to the be reaction. The crowd is going wild here for Kong. Oh, Benjamin attacks him right off the bat. There it goes. No time at all. Not, not even taking his headdress off. He's right on him. Well, I guess smart move from Benjamin. He's a as big as Benamine is, uh, there aren't too many that match up size-wise against Congo Kong, so Benamine uh, be the aggressor very early, and down goes Benamine very quickly. Just terrible. You've got two pretty strong competitors uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe yes, this should be a very interesting encounter. And I never, ever, ever thought I would see the day where the crowd is chanting Congo. He looks a little, uh, a little stunned by it. He doesn't, he, he's on, never he, heard this before. He's actually moving to the crowd. He's liking it. He's just he's, he's, gro he's grooving. Yeah, he's grooving. Oh, man, nice, right? nice line, Chuck. I like that. He's grooving. And uh, speaking of ungroovy, back into the ring comes uh, Benamine. And of 
course, Alexander the Great at ringside to making his presence felt here with some words from Tango Khan. And ring the bell. I forgot to tell you, part of your duties is bell ringing. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, my bad. All right, here we go once again here with uh, Bim Amin and Congo Kong. Oh, right to the eyes with a rake of the eyes. Congo Kong on the receiving end. Of the blocks that last right. He's got Bin Amin. Here comes Kong. Look at this. What a chop to the mouth. How does that feel when you've what got that? What a chop. That, does it, that, that is not kind of good. Strength, that kind of weight in behind those chops and punches. That's, that is devastating. Look at that clothesline over the top rope. Up and over goes Ben Amin. He's got to collect himself in a hurry here. Listen to this crowd, Chuck. They're behind Kong. They're behind the big man from Africa. Wow. Unreal. What a change of events here. Congo Kong being cheered by the Crossfire faithful. Hey, if somebody would have told us that just even like five short months ago, Congo Kong would be a crowd favorite of the crowd. Be cheering him uh, the way they have it. He would be enjoying every. He didn't seem to care about the fans prior to this one. Not at all. But he sure does now. Well, Benamin taking his sweet time. Maybe not a bad uh, strategy on his part. Uh, you get the feeling he's not all that eager to get back in the ring with Congo Kong. I wouldn't be either. Not at all. You've, uh, you've faced some big men in your day, though. But have you ever faced anyone the size of a Congo Kong or a Benamin? Well, dude, I've, been, I've been in there with some big guys. Congo Kong is a special big guy. No Look at this. It. Look at that. Look at the agility. Look at that move. That's a 350-pound man How going many? over the top rope backwards just to a way of exiting the ring. And he was unbelievable. He, Look at that. Felt that one from over at our broadcast that table. That rocked the building. You could feel that. You could feel that punch. Another one. Ow. Congo Kong was uh, sizing up uh, Alexander the Great. And been a mean. He doesn't know where he is. He's just swinging at thin air right now. I think he's in the... You don't know where he... I don't think he knows where he is right now. Grab them by the beard. Might get him to shave sometime. Solid right again from Congo Kong. Kong's on the offense here, that's for sure. And not much going on for Ben Amin other than down to the floor. Look at the agility the of Kong. That's yeah. unbelievable. That move that he did uh, with the back somersault to get outside the ring. Unreal. Unreal. How many, Unreal. How many 350 pounders could no, ever even attempt that? There isn't any. There's none in this pro wrestling business, I don't think. Uh, absolutely. A tremendous agility to go along with the uh, speed of the. Obvious size of Kong will come down the elbow right to the back of the neck. And Kong is, Kong is on, has the upper hand. Now he's after Alexander the Great. Well, somebody had to shoot He's getting him, but watch out. And as usual, from behind comes Ben Amin. Well, how would you like to be the referee for this contest? Pretty much just let him go, boys. That's all you can do. Stay out of the way. As Ben Amin rolls back into the ring, now Congo Kong back in. He comes back in into the throat. There's, the There's Ben Amin. There he is. The choking is upon. That's what he does. That's that's nothing. Nothing that's is the offense. Off, nothing's off limits for Ben Amin. Yeah, that's the offense. He's diabolical. Now steps on the hand of Congo Kong. That's a no class Bobby Bass move there. That hand step. Yeah. Himself. He's here, Bobby is. Bass, no class Bobby Bass and Ron Hutchison are in the house. I'm around the building now. I was wondering if Benamin was going to try to set him up for a camel clutch, but they're too soon for that. But instead, ow. I don't care how big that, you are, that's going to hurt. That's a Benhamin favorite here on the headbutt to wherever. Well, the pressure he's putting on the... Uh, Right now, Congo Kong. I guess smart move though. Try to get Congo Kong uh, the, the lower extremity. He's trying to take the seat. legs out from yeah. under him. He's a big man, so if you can get them pins down, knock them pins out from under him, you can make some offense. A really smart move here by Ben Amin, who all of a sudden has a gained control for now at least in this match. We've seen a lot of wrestlers. We saw Toaster earlier, and he was telling us in the broadcast, Chuck, that uh, he feeds off the crowd. And you, as a former wrestler, you hear the crowd, right? And they're, they're inspirational. Yes, Congo Kong might need that right now. Maybe that's what he needs. He's, he seems, the crowd seems to be behind Kong. What a turn of events here at Crossfire. Congo Kong being cheered by the Crossfire faithful. And a 
couple of elbows from Kong, but right back with the right skill. Is that going to be? Congo Kong. There it comes. Oh, belly to belly. Oh, beautiful oh. suplex by Kong. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, yeah. No way Ben Amin is getting up from that. There's no way. Look at the agility of Kong. How do you describe that? What we just saw. A, a spinning shoulder block with with his opponent Ben Amin down on the mat. That was a near fall. Somehow Chuck. Ben Amin just. That was, was it. That should have been it right there. Not too many guys are gonna. You know what? We'll give credit. We we talked about how evil a person he is, but. Ben Amin, boy, he could get in there with the toughest of He, he kicked like out from that. That was a, yeah. I thought that was all over. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Ben Amin seems to have been handed something here. He's got something. I saw something going in his pocket, Chuck. Oh, he ducks the, he ducks the Kong. He ducks the Kong clothesline. Now by the beard again. And the headbutt to the face. Oh. That's a Kong classic. Okay. Ben Amin right now thinking, what inning is this that we're in? Up and down goes nice, Ben Amin. body slam by Kong. Slam from Kong. Where's Kong going now? And the cane to the back of Congo Kong from Alexander. That was like, a, I don't think he really, f that was just a nasty, bothering moment. He's like a little gnat, like a little fly up there. Here comes Kong. Unpredictable by uh, manager Alex the Great. You got the two managers on the floor. Kong is, oh, Ben Amin. And now ben has got, got a chain around yeah. his hand. Very quickly, referee's back's turn. Of course, toss it out of the ring. Let's hope it doesn't end this way. Let's hope it doesn't end this three way. It does. A three count by Ben Hameen. Absolutely. But ben Hameen defeats in the middle of the ring, Congo Khan. One, two, three. That's got to knock Ben Hameen way up the ladder right here at Crossfire. What a shocker. He might have done that by nefarious means. Referee with his back turned, distra Alexander the Great doing his job, yes. distracting the referee. Ben Amin takes that chain we knew he had in his Embracing in the ring, yes. Oh it should gosh. be a disqualification here. Well, Sideburns missed that one, but Ben Amin celebrating by himself with Alexander the Great in the ring now. And Congo Kong with that chain right to the face. Unpredictable RJH, his uh, mentor and manager. At ringside, checking on his uh, protege to make sure he's okay. Ben, El Congo comes back up, and needless to say, out goes Ben Amin. Well, it's Ben Amin and Alexander the Great be wise to get out of there quickly. Well, it has yeah. to be considered a shocker that uh, raising the arm in victory is uh, Ben Amin. <laughs> Alexander, Alexander the Great calling out Commissioner Frank Newman here, Chuck. Yes, I don't, I don't know what this is all about now. Alexander the Great, he's had things going his way tonight. Well, he's claiming might not be that far off the mark. Claiming his manager, Alexander the Great, that Ben Amin is the number one contender. That's yes. not official. That's yeah. his words, not ours. Well, he just defeated Congo Kong. He, no matter how he won, he won. Well, I don't know if Commissioner Newman, as brave of a man as Commissioner Frank Newman is. Oh, he just called him a little weasel, man. That ought to get it. That's fighting words. Oh, calling out Commissioner Frank Newman. Alexander the Great. He's He's had things go his way tonight. Well, he's That's done everything sure. to antagonize Commissioner Frank Newman, fearless Frank, uh, to come out, but uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, the case. No he's side not of the commissioner not coming out. Congo Kong chasing it back down. There goes Kong, I don't know. We might hear some thunder in the building.